Gott, ihm. It's pretty good fish. He's hit the nose. Right down the front. Oh, he's trying to go under that fucking log. Come on, fish. Come on. Come on. Bloody awesome. This guy had been cruising past uh, quite a few times. And the last one I was halfway through tying on a uh, stimulator with a dropper. He swam past and it was a, a now or never sort of deal and there we go. Fruits of our labour. Nice fish. Geez, that one played out real fast. I saw the fish go past and I was right in the middle of tying on the stimulator after losing him on a cicada. I got to the point where I just finished the knot off the stimulator, had about a bitty two inch tag end coming off it. The fish ran past and it was one of those moments where bugger it, the nymph, the tag end off the nymph's gone, risk it for the biscuit and uh, yeah it paid off. Wicked. People say presentation is critical, uh, I would say that having a fly in the water is critical and presentations are nice to have. It definitely helps, but not as critical as having a fly in the water. Bloody wind is making it hard. The water's not very swift. Oh, there he is. I was waiting for him to come past. I hadn't seen him for a bit, so I thought I'd go for a wander, have a look upstream, and then he's just swam down, and there's his mate going down the other side. Maybe we'll go back to where we were and just give it another five minutes. What I was on there before was, because the water's not very swift, I'm using a longer leader and tip it. Uh, I think we're about 18 foot all up, but the wind is giving me a bloody hard time. I fired the cicada up behind a trout before, got it to splash quite hard. He turned, didn't land as close as I want, but I didn't get as much leader turnover as I wanted. He came back and ended up seeing the buddy fly line, which was undesirable and uh, he stopped, swam off and haven't seen him since. But there's three or four fish still kicking around, he's got to, got to keep persevering, eventually I'll get a good cast, some good drift, a gap in the wind and hopefully it'll all come together. If not I'll catch some bloody gorse bushes or a tree, of which I've caught two or three so far. Just got a snag, got my snag back, and this happened. A monumental explosion of leader and tippet, 18 foot. This is one of those uh, shrinking tricks. When you get real good, you can turn 18 foot of leader into three foot of leader. I wouldn't recommend it, 